Welcome to Flash Basics Tutorial 19 Stop and Start Animation with Buttons I have the CS5 program opened and I'm going to open a new FLA going to make the width 700 and the height of my stage 550 press OK going to go to 50% on my stage so I can get a good idea of what I can what I'm, what I'm doing call this first layer mouse m-o-u-s-e one mouse one I'm going to use my oval tool going to pick up a red fill black stroke and right here I'm going to make an oval there it is go back to about 200 percent so I can see my oval there it is there put some light blue in for my fill color still have my oval tool make a little eyeball here and a little eyeball here and a little nose and then pick up a long skinny oval for tail up the selection tool highlight that whole thing come up to modify convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected and call it mouse one MC M O U S C capital M one underscore MC I label all my movie clips underscore MC At the same time while we're in the in the mood change this fill color to a dark blue and do basically the same lock this layer open a new layer call it mouse to grab your oval tool go back to 50 percent and I want him to be over here on the bottom of the so my oval there he is, almost the same size. Going to go to 100% so I can see him up close. Pick up that light blue again. Make a couple eyes, one, two, and a nose of some sort. And here, a long, skinny, oval tail. Selection tool. Select the whole thing. Modify, convert it to a symbol. Movie clip is still selected. This would be M O U S E two underscore M C. Select the lock both layers. Select the mouse layer, mouse one. Insert a layer. Call it guide one. G U I D E guide one, meaning guide for number one mouse. Picking this up, going back to fifty percent, and lock that guide layer select mouse 2 insert a layer call it guide 2 G U I D E 2 lock all the layers up to about 130 click on all four layers right click insert keyframes and that brings everything up those two mouse movie clips are all the way up there let's take the unlock the mouse one which is the red one in my case let's go back to frame one for a minute and move this mouse ahead here like that back up to the end select this last frame and put the mouse somewhere behind so if I did this you could see that insert classic tween now unlock the guide one layer select frame one pick up the pencil tool and somewhere in the middle of that mouse start drawing a line try to keep it all one motion no sharp turns and come back here where 
he's going to end up at all the way up here click on this layer get that fuzzy square and drag it into there lock the guide layer unlock the mouse one using your tab key tab them up until this cross here is on that line we just made there's that there go back to frame one tap him till he's on that line and even, even if he is take him off and put it back on lock that layer for now double click on guide one this wheel window layer properties window will open select guide okay little hammer goes in here click on that lower layer and drag it up to the right and that dotted line means you have a okay so now see how he's going backwards click on that tweening layer open the properties panel and click here orient to path click that and now he will turn as he goes around the corners okay you want to do the same thing with the second mouse unlock the guide layer select frame one of the guide layer we know the mouse is going to start somewhere around here we're going to move him ahead a little bit in a minute if I pick up my pencil tool and draw a path for him doesn't matter that he goes over the other guy just try to make it one motion no sharp turns and I'm going to bring it back in the back end here this might be a bit sharp so I'm going to take my selection tool and try to take that kink out of there Oops. good now lock that guide layer go to the very end of that guide layer click you get that fuzzy square and drag it in there select unlock the mouse to layer select that last frame and using your arrow keys or, or whatever means you want get it so that cross here is on that line go back to frame one of the mouse two and put him on the starting of your line oops my case which is right there click anywhere on that mouse right click insert a classic tween double click on this guide too call it a guide little hammer right click left click drag to the right and he should follow that path click on that tween line somewhere open the property panel and orient to path let's just test this for a minute there they go following the paths okay now let's do some button control lock all the layers select the top layer insert a layer call it buttons b-u-t-t-o-n-s and we're going to make two two buttons Make sure your oval tool is selected. Get a fill color of red, black stroke. Make a button, make a circle. There it is. Change the fill color to green. Make a second button. Line them up just a little bit. I'm not going to be too fussy about their size or anything like that. Using your selection tool select the red button modify convert it to a symbol this time it's a button and red's going to be my stop s t o p underscore b t n is for button and because i'm going to use it in script i gotta give it an instance name so open the uh, properties panel s t o p underscore b t n selection tool highlight the green one 
modify, convert to a symbol. Button is still selected. This is my start, S-T-A-R-T underscore V-T-N. Same thing. Open the properties panel, instance name, S-T-A-R-T underscore B-T-N. Lock that button's layer. Open a new layer. Call it Action Script AS. Select the first frame. Open your Actions panel. And the first thing we want to do is make sure that these mouse are not moving when we first start it. So we want a stop. S T O P. Open and close bracket semicolon. Small s. This will turn blue if it's spelt right. And now when we test it, those two mice will not be moving. Now we're going to put a button in. We're going to program in that start button. And type, type, type. There's the start button. S-T-A-R-T underscore B-T-N. That's the instance name we gave it. Period. Add event listener. Small a, capital E, capital L. That will all turn blue if you spell it right. Open bracket. Mouse event. Capital M, capital E. That will turn blue when you finish this line period C L I C K all capital letters comma so this will all be blue and this add event listener will be blue after the click is a comma and then I'm just giving this function a name called start you can call it Bert Harry Dick whatever you want I'm calling it start close bracket semicolon and now this is the function that we're going to call up function small f u n c t i o n that turns purple you can copy this word start and paste it in here. Open bracket, event, E-V-E-N-T, small e, colon. You can copy this mouse event and paste it in here, capital M, capital E, close bracket, colon, void. This is just a communication between the program and the computer. You can just write it V-O-I-D. It turns the same color as function. There's the open bracket for the function. And it's quite possible as you're typing it in that this closed bracket automatically comes in. These are the curly brackets, these two. Between them, we got P-L-A-Y, small p. This will turn blue. Open and close bracket, semicolon. So when we press the start button, the mice will move. So now let's copy these lines. Right click, copy. Click at the end and paste them in. Now we want this to be the stop button, S-T-O-P. It's going to be a stop function, S-T-O-P. S-T-O-P. And S-T-O-P. Go up to here. This will sort of format it for you. And this will check. And when that bling usually means there's no errors. Let's give this a test. And naturally they're not moving. If I press the start stop button, they're not going to move. Press the start button, they go. Press the stop button, they'll stop. If I press the start button and leave it go, that's back at frame one where they're stopped. I can start it again. But every time it gets back to frame one, they're going to stop. So we have to fix that close that go way up here on the action script last frame right click insert a blank keyframe open the actions panel and we're going to tell it to go back to frame 2 G O T O all small letters go to capital A N D capital P L A Y open bracket two close bracket semicolon now this will send it back to frame two and it'll keep looping that's the movie playing it and you can see this time it doesn't stop and just because it's one frame you might see a little quick glitch right here with the red one there that's it stop I hope you learned something from this tutorial
and I hope you use what you learn.